What's going on YouTube, United Gamer 101 here, and welcome to another Dark Souls 3 guide. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Chloranthi Ring, and I'm sorry if I can't say that right. I'll never be able to perfect it, no matter how many takes I do it, uh, but you want to be in the Undead Settlement at the third bonfire of the Cliff Underside. Next, you just want to follow this route, and we've seen this route before in other guides, how we got the Butcher's Knife and such, and it's how you meet Katarina if you haven't met him yet. But just follow this route and take your time as needed to pause the video because there will be a lot of enemies on these bridges. I just run past them, or at least I try to most of the time. We'll see if I do it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect. Um, but yeah, go ahead and avoid them. Uh, there's a lot of NPCs and a lot of different stuff over here, but the main thing we're focusing on is a Chloranthi ring. You can also get the Lucatil of Mirror set from Dark Souls 2, or everything at least but the mask. I have yet to find the mask. I'll be making a armor set guide for that later on. But make sure the elevator is going up. I messed mine up, and uh, you're going to come across this ledge that you just want to jump off on. Go ahead and jump off this. Here you're going to actually have to fight a fire demon with Katarina if you have not done that yet. Um, if you have, you just go ahead and run on past it and you're going to go to the cathedral. But just go ahead and run on past here. There's going to be a lot of enemies inside this building up ahead, like dogs and the big ladies that shoot magic at you and give you fire hugs. I'm not sure the exact name, and I won't until this Tuesday when it releases globally. Uh, but just go ahead and run on past them. It's not really that hard to get past them. And if you don't know, and if you're new to the Souls games, the reason this ring is so beneficial and so good is because it increases your regeneration for your stamina, which is amazing because stamina is needed for all builds and everything in Dark Souls. You know, every time you're blocking, it needs to regen fast. So it's definitely really good that you need uh, to have this. And especially that we can get it in such an early world, such as the Undead Settlement. That is an awesome thing. Little side note, you can actually get Flynn's ring right up above there on that left ledge. Just go ahead and jump on down these ledges and then jump over to the Just go ahead and jump on down these ledges and go to the cathedral. And this is going to be similar to the pit in Majula from Dark Souls 2. You just need to run and jump and right across there and then fall on down here. And that is pretty much it, guys. You will now have the Coranthi ring. See, I, I can never say it right. I'm sorry. And then the mirror set as well. Hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Dark Souls 3 content. A playlist of all of the guys that I've done or will be doing are in the description below. And as always, this is not just a channel. It is a family. And look at that beautiful regenerate. It is so awesome. A great ring to have early game. See you guys soon.